What's up, y'all? How you doing out there today? Welcome to A Few Kids and Me. I appreciate you guys for stopping by to see what's going on here today. It's the last day in November, y'all. November 30th, 2022. And it's 4.17 p.m. Yes, guys. I got to you a little early today. And you know, I feel pretty dang on decent right about now. So, I said it's time to catch a vibe, feel a vibe, push out a vibe, you know? So I uh, hope and pray that all of you guys are well out there in this here beautiful earth that we all reside in. I want to say thank you guys um, for being so supportive to me in this channel and helping it grow. Thank you every single last one of you guys. And uh, I thank you newcomers also that are stopping by just to see what's going on here. I appreciate your time and your energy. So um, I'm going to rock with these warriors because we pushing through you know it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff going on in the world man a lot and um yeah you know we uh gotta stand strong and uh the things that you believe in and uh, y'all already know if you've been here mine is the most high power with all my heart yhwh every day so you know uh yeah, I, I give all, all my everything to the one that created it all, you know, the reason why I'm here again today. So, uh, yeah, all my gratitude goes to the man above. So, guys, uh, yeah, we're pushing through in this madness of a world that we do reside in and trying to find the good in it, you know. So, you know. What is a fucus, you know, the serpent barrier, you know, the one that can contain that snake. <laughs> so, you know, let's see what it do. All right. I was about to say, what was that? that was like a truck that came past or something to block the sunlight. It just went dark like the energy it went out or something. I don't, I don't have any light on. <laughs> anyway, y'all. It's, uh... Wednesday, or as my mama used to say, hump day. <laughs> so, in this middle of the week energy, as we are worrying, war, being warriors, let me not try to make up a word because I don't even know if that's a word or not. Being warriors in this here earth, that's why I picked the earth warrior oracle today, and uh, see what energy I can get from it. Oh, this card. It says the precious and rare. Well, aren't we that if you can? All right. So it's so much beautiful energy in this card. And it's a number three. Okay. You have the panther. You have the butterfly. You have the mountains. You have the sun. You have rainbow uh, energies, you know, chakra colors and all these great things. Um, life, you know, as I like to say when I see color. So I'm going to read from this here um, book okay and um, let's see what it has to say all right oh my god it's a long one guys so I'm not gonna read everything okay because <clears throat> that will take me some time all right so here we have uh, Panthera the precious and rare our faith and optimism are not met to make us complacent, but to encourage us to believe that our action in the world will have a positive and real effect. There are situations where your voice, your courage, and your fearless determination are needed. You will make a difference. Cast helplessness or despair aside and realize the fighter within. Oh, phrases. Yes, this is a beautiful card for exactly what I was saying, you know? Fight for that which needs defending with all of your heart. Do so with compassion, kindness, and mercy, but do not yield. Okay, it says here, guys, in a reading, you have the strength to handle any challenge, even the ones that intimidate you. You may feel that you are alone in the fight sometimes, 
but there are forces of good and spirit and upon the earth that are fighting with you, supporting you, believing in you, assisting you, and championing your success. It may not always feel like it, but you are not alone in this. There is help at hand to uncover a hidden piece of information which will allow truth and justice to prevail. So it says here, spiritual guidance. Do not give up on yourself or spirit. When, in the face of possible loss, something deep in our soul recoils in horror, it is a sign that something is not right. It is not a sign that we are too attached or not trusting enough in the divine to fight. I'm, I'm sorry, in the divine to figure everything out. It is a sign that we must pay attention for the guidance and then with kindness, courage, and strength, we take appropriate action to safeguard what we what would otherwise perish. We are not here to be passive consumers of whatever the dominant mainstream consciousness tries to enact in the world, nor are the ideologies taught by counterculture. We are here to learn to awaken the healing power of our own minds in connection with the compassion of our hearts. We are here to become complete human beings and through that to be, live, and inspire loving evolution for the greater good. We are here to be the revolutionary embodiment of loving consciousness, to be the fearless, determined enactors of wisdom. We are here to offer and inspire to rebel and refuse to speak with wisdom, to create through how we choose to be within ourselves and to honor the light in such a way that we protect and preserve what has real value in this world. The body, the earth, and her creatures are not illusions. Saying that they are not real is not spiritual wisdom. That is an unholy deception perpetuated to undermine sacred activists from derailing the de devastating behaviors that place profit above all else above all else right this is a very deep card okay and it goes on further in depth talking about the description of the card healing processes and so on and so forth so you guys um i didn't turn my little light on so um yeah do do what you're supposed to do um unapologetically okay like i said we're warriors out here you do exactly what your heart is asking you to do um and how you feel uh how you feel guided you know what i'm saying so Let's pull from these um, little index cards now. Okay, one stack. I'm just gonna take half of this one and half of this one. Okay, so let's see what we get. Let me get my other light, guys. Give me one second. <clears throat> I mean, I still have like the natural light going on here, but um, I just want to add a little bit more light because I know the sun is probably going to go down. I don't know how long I'm going to um, be reading for. Yesterday, the read was really fast. I don't know. The energy was just like super popping. And um, yeah, so however the case, let's... um. Let's see what we get here. Okay. All right. Here we go. Okay. If I can get myself together here and make a space so I can do this. Okay. I got cards everywhere on the sides of, on the sides of me. <laughs> Feel constricted. Okay restricted whatever the word is i think i use either okay so <laughs> let's see what we have i did make a, a couple of more cards last night i was able to make a few more okay. 
and I mixed some up with some of my other cards off of my other table too. So I should have a, a good variety, a variation of sayings today. Okay. So let's see what comes out in the midst of us being rare and uh, precious out here in this world. Um, mm, 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 doing exactly what we are here to do and be exactly who we are here to be and fighting for the greater good of uh, the whole world, all nations, um, you know, coming together, working together um, for the greater good. So let's see what we get. Let's see. One more time. Okay. Huh. It says here, don't fall for it. Okay. So it's somebody out there that's trying to coerce you in the opposite way of what you already have set or you know have learned or you know or what you're learning or how you believe it to be or whatever the case may be there's someone out there that's trying to direct you in a different direction okay so let's see what we have here all right let's see what we have here all right all right all right Need to go outside with my little doggies. They're out there tearing up stuff. I was in the bathroom and like hearing this like gnawing noise. I'm like, stop it now. Whoever is doing that, stop it. I stopped. And then it started back. And I'm like, I said to stop it. So I send my son out there, like, what are they chewing on? They're like, and as soon as I hear him go, it's like, he's like, ooh. <laughs> I mean, I have Doberman, you know what I'm saying? And Rot Rollers, so and they're puppies so, and they're bored you know and they, they tear up everything you know so i knew they were getting at something because you know right outside of the bathroom wall it's like the water hose and stuff so i'm like and they already bit a hole in it the other day i've been through like two di two different water hoses already so i'm like these dogs are crazy so i heard my son say "Ooh," i said oh god and chewing up this damn water hose from the actual spell area now. Oh, God. My son said, well, you're going to have to get another water hose. I said, oh, no. Everybody's going to get popped on their snout today. Like, I don't know. Who did it? All you guys are in trouble. Who did this? They know when I go outside and say, who did this? They all look like, oh, God, somebody's in trouble. No, all you guys are in trouble today. Gosh. I let you pass on biting it in half. Okay, we still got some water I can manage, you know, to fill up your water. Now I have to go buy another one again. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. yeah, they're just, they're puppies, you know. That's just what is to be expected with, especially destructive uh, Rottweiler, but they're. <laughs> Rottweilers are destructive dogs. Don't, ooh, don't have any furniture and have a, a brand new Rottweiler that you're not really watching in or, you know. Uh, have trained properly and yeah you're gonna come home to no furniture okay so yeah I, I uh, went through that with their dad it was funny but not funny okay so ooh, it says De Niro is right so your money is looking right you're doing good for yourself you know and no complaints there okay now let's see what we have here in this stack it's an interesting uh, set of cards already out there, you know. So, you know, you guys are some fierce individuals out here. <laughs> I'm not mad at the energy at all. It's beautiful. We need fierceness, you know, like that panther there. Like, who's going to mess with that panther? I wish somebody would. You know, very loving creature, I'm sure, you know, very you know wise spiritual being you know but you don't want to mess with a, a freaking panther now do you oh i don't think i want to take all those one more time 
Okay. Um, riding bikes or motorcycles may be your thing. Maybe you own a motorcycle. All right, guys, here we go. Let's see what all these cards say. Okay. Yeah, you guys are very uh, interesting group of individuals. Okay. And uh, beautiful and rare. Okay. I can't afford to stop. Oh, I know. That is too soon to forget. All right. Here we have father-in-law. This card comes up a lot. So maybe some of you guys are already married and or maybe divorced and keep in contact with your in-laws. You know, maybe you have children and things like that. Maybe this person is very significant to you. Okay. And it says here, party under the moonlight. Um, well, there are a lot of people that like to party under the moonlight, you know, and have feasts and things like that on, on new moons and things like that. So there we have that. Um, kick the habit or habits. Okay, someone had a long night out maybe last night or over the weekend or maybe it was a long weekend full of partying and festivities. Having restless nights, okay, um, you will get past this stage, okay? Maybe some things are very complicated, um, you know, I'm not too sure, but it says here focus, okay, focus. So here it says royalty, okay? Royalty. All right. Um, love heals all things. Okay. And properly aligned and in sync. Okay. You know what? You know what you're doing and where you're going. Okay. So it says here, release the pain. It's falling right next to you. Will get past this stage. Okay. No means no. Don't think about it more and more and more. If you said no, they'll, they'll leave it right where it's at. Okay. And allow time for healing. Okay. Stick to your beliefs. All right. Like I was saying, don't let no one coerce you into anything. You know, if it doesn't sit right with you, it just doesn't sit right with you. Okay. Learn from one another. That's what we do every day. You know, some things coincide some things don't you know and that's okay you take what feels good to you and you leave the rest behind like they say in tarot right all right reach for it reach for the stars reach for uh your goals keep reaching okay and we have here leave it in the past next so no means no leave it in the past you'll get past this stage reach for it endless nights i mean restless nights said endless nights i don't know <laughs> uh play lottery and win and maybe the endless nights right there like you know have endless nights of just fun okay a little lonely missing someone like i said right you know you get past this stage you know it's in the past um because there will be another opportunity don't know maybe in love don't miss the opportunity oh my gosh excuse me They'll miss the opportunity to go dancing. Maybe someone says, oh, come on, let's go out. Let's go dancing. You're like, oh, no. I don't know if I'm ready to go out and have fun anymore. You know, it's like, get out there. Be a little adventurous, you know. Go have some fun, you know. Maybe your favorite color is blue. Ooh, no means no two times. Ooh, okay. Well, if something, like, if you're feeling a certain way and you're like, I don't want to go. Someone says, okay, come on, be a little adventurous. I No means no. I said no. You know, like stick to who you are. Stick to your beliefs. Don't let anybody go horse you, move you, bend you. If you feel a certain way, that's how you feel. You don't have to explain anything to anyone, you know, but just know how you feel. Stand in it, okay? Don't hesitate to make that call, okay? And for me, that would be like, you know, for those who don't like maybe believe in God or you want to get closer or something like that, you know, don't be afraid to call out for him or his name or understand what that's about or something like that. Answers are in your dreams. Man, that sounds like my freaking car, but I'm like, somebody gotta be hella stupid to try to open my car up like, and I'm right here. Nope, not my 
my chart. Lights would have been going off, but it sounded like it was right there. So here you have the color neon green. Maybe green is your color. Resist the temptation. So yeah, maybe, you know, it, it's a tempting thing for you to go dancing, go out, go have a good time. You know, and it's just like, you have to stick to your gut. So here you have yellow um, solar plexus. So that means I'm going to definitely use that deck. So I'll use that deck second. Okay, we have a casino goer, a gambler. It says play the lottery and win. I mean, that's about the same thing. You are a lethal weapon walking 100%. Like, don't play with you or whoever you are. You're not here for the play play. Okay. <laughs> because you've had major growth. You understand a lot. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're beyond capable. People don't get it. Oh, Lord. And if you have a PhD, you have a lot of different levels of understanding behind you. Okay. Doctor of philosophy. All right. So, yeah. Tell people the things that you know and give them a, a dose of your medicine. So, here you have here. Someone's name starts with the letter L. That's the only letter I have. So, guys, let's get this party started. I'm going to start here with this deck here. So, you are a lethal weapon walking. Um, you're standing in your power and allowing others to understand what that means. You know, when you say no, you know, you uh, learned how to resist the temptation. Um, you understand that healing is needed. And um, maybe you're kicking habits, you know, and getting past phases and things like that. Um, reaching for stars and you may, you know, like I said, it may be a little lonely right now and it also gets lonely at the top the higher that you go with the things that you understand that others don't. Okay. So, um, what was the second card out? I'm sorry. Oh, party under the moonlight. Okay. And focus. Yeah. Okay. Answers are in your dreams, like always. And something is in the past. Next. You are precious and rare. My focus. Alright, so let's see what we have here. And let's get this show on the road. I appreciate you guys if you're still here with me. Thank you so very much for being here with me. And, uh, yeah, let's see what we get. Mm, the world. The world. We had that yesterday too. Like, <laughs> you're trying to take all these different spectrums and areas of things that you've learned and things from the world maybe and compile it all and figure out where you stand or maybe the way that you see things and view things is important for the world uh, you'll make a worldly change and or it just means that things are coming um to a close um you know the cycle is up you know um but i like to look at the world card much larger than just the cycle being getting ready to close you know so here you have the queen of cups okay coming out here and that's speaking of emotions right so maybe you with the world falling right behind the world maybe oh wow and the high priestess you know and uh the yin and yang the balance the understanding you know like you got the whole world in your hand the understanding of things in your hand the palm in your hand queen of cups high emotion for the world like you know like you uh you love and you're highly in tune you did say that also in sync um aligned in in sync so you're in sync with your emotions with who you are the world and um three of wands you're progressing and moving along with your mission you have a vision and um 
you're not going to let anyone come in and wreck that okay here you have page of swords so i just look at that little card like you know he looks very playful like you're just finding a way to come out and speak your mind okay here you have hierophant um either like i said don't be afraid to make that call maybe you're asking god's help or something like that or you know maybe you're just um slowly learning how to have the faith to tell people about god or something like that we have here the magician card falling right underneath the high priestess so I'm thinking what I just said, the latter part. You're, you're finding a way to tell people about God or something like that. You're having this faith um, to talk about God or something like that. Or your love for God, right? Well, I mean, that could kind of go towards like what I was saying, you know, um, when I first started, you know, like I love God, you know, like. I don't care what anyone says, you know. Um, I just don't. <laughs> so here, Ten of Swords. Um, yeah, maybe a lot of people have uh, talked mess about the things that you're doing or why you're trying to do it or, you know, um, and you felt the pain, you know, from... Uh, people or you know you actually or maybe you all already knew that you know you weren't going to be appreciated or something like that with this high priestess card but you said that's okay uh, i still have this magic and i'm going to come out and you know it doesn't matter about the ten of swords you know stab me in my back do whatever you want to do you know like i already knew all that was coming you know or something like that Or you've been hurt by yeah i'm just gonna say that because here is a strength card falling out next so you have to like i said um stand in your beliefs or whatever it is i'm not, i just say god because i see here the higher front card so you know um and it says faith you know and it's coming from the heavens so i mean maybe you want to talk to some people about you know astrology you know considering that we know about a fucus or something like that and knowing that people are going to talk crazy and all types of stuff you know but you have so much love for the knowledge and things that you're finding out you want to tell the world okay so here it says have the strength because you know either some things are going to fall apart you know but don't be wary of what could fall apart okay because if you stand strong in who you are remember after the tower new things are built right so here are six of coins that means that maybe you know someone wants to work with you you know um <laughs> and i love it because look at he has so many eyes <laughs> so and he has his he has his hand on his head on his head right and it's like yes i i see i understand you know so it's just like maybe you have you know um touched someone you know with your words with this here page of swords um with the information um and they want to work with you they like want to fund you or fund you sponsor you or you know something like that um or help you buy books or something that you're trying to gain more knowledge in but you you have to get your hands on the resources and your books can be pretty expensive you know trying to um trying to get to all that so here you have eight of wands okay so yes there are things moving um for you at this time and you're really just balancing your life out just figuring out you know like you know the things that you've seen where you've been where you are where you're going okay so um don't be afraid of even that tower you know like things happen oh wow and you have two of cups that's falling out right up underneath this six of coins so it's going to be like this perfect like love match that's going to come along it said um what's in the past is in the past next because someone didn't understand you okay so then you have here eight of swords in reverse 
So it's like you you're done all that worrying about X, Y, and Z was, you let all that go already because you're the high priestess. So you are, you kinda already did all that. You know, worrying about this or that or was it a mistake or all that nonsense, you know, and realize who you were and your power with this magician and not caring about this ten of swords and who stabbed you in your back or who didn't understand or who talked mess or any of that. You didn't care. Okay. So here you have the two of coins. Or maybe this just meant like you didn't care. You had the strength even when the towers came. And you know, that's why you were holding your, your vision. Because you've been through all that already. And that's why the two of coins came out. You've been through all the scrutiny and all that nonsense. And fighting your families and your friends. And you know, lovers and whomever. You know, community. Uh, whoever. You know, you've already you stood through the test. You know. Oh, let's see what this last card is. It's taking its time to present itself. Mm. Oh, well, nine of wands. Yeah, you stayed persistent, you know, um, throughout all of that struggle, throughout the people's hurt and doubt of you and your path. You stayed strong, persistent, and yeah, seven of wands. You have that wand and you're looking towards the mountains. And you say, I'm going to get there. You know, there is nothing that's going to get in my way. So here we have the second deck. I appreciate you guys for being here with me. Like I said, I have an interesting group of collective energy right here. And for whoever this is for, keep striving, keep doing you. You are rare, you're um, precious, and you are beautiful and don't ever let anyone tell you otherwise and um there will be someone that wants to work with you equally financially also and in love you know and that's a beautiful blend you know that's someone that's willing to support you there um and support you in your dreams and the things that you believe in and maybe you've even got them to believe some things about some things you know <laughs> or open their eye you know to certain um things that you have been privy to okay there's so much here guys it can hurt your head sometimes you know if you get too caught up in uh traveling too far down a, a rabbit hole you know in particular because there's so much um conflicting um energy and information sometimes you know using your discernment and your third eye your intuition and all those things you know it is really it can be trying sometimes you know but you have to really go off of um the level of intuition that you do have you know and where it where it is and how far it's gotten you already you know and trust it moving forward in this here game of life all right guys so here's the second deck and here we go i'm gonna do this uh, one more time and let's go oh my nose is starting to itch okay Five of Swords. So yeah, that's that that doubt. You see the crown falling off? Like don't let anybody get up into that area. Okay. Know what you know. Stand firm in who you are and your beliefs. And I think that's you know, just saying that that was something that was, you know, if you heard me, that was. That's not who you are anymore. You know, it's like that's why the eight of swords came out in reverse. You're finished with that. You you you're taking that intuition and what you have and uh you're running away with it you're not letting anybody come in and, and shake you up okay period judgment the angels are have said it. okay we see you okay we see what you're doing we see how you care we see how you are trying your best to change uh, here four pentacles in the struggle this way so i'm gonna take it in the reverse 
So four of pentacles, like, yeah, you're not trying to hold on to the past. You're not trying to hold on to people that don't, you know, believe. You're not trying to hold on to any of that. Fell out in the struggle. Someone take it here. It was an unbalanced energy, you know, so why would you try to hold on to that stuff? You let it go. You let the tower fall. Yeah. So, anyhow, let's see. Page of Swords. Falling in the same area where it is here. Okay. So, like I said, either you're just coming out in small pieces, telling people about this road that you're on, you know. <laughs> yeah, see with a sword, like you're telling people, like, you see this path. I'm going this way. You guys could follow if you like. It's up to you. You know, something like that. You know. <laughs> ah, how cute. Okay. All right, the emperor I had this other day, like fell out like this too. Saw the emperor, so <sighs> either this is same, same type thing too, and he fell in the same area. Either this is, you know, this person that wants to work with you, two of cups, he's gonna eventually be this emperor for you, or you know, th this emperor was the person that you're not trying to hold on tight to. Okay, because he was one of those that you had to leave behind um, that fell in the midst of the Ten of Swords and things that were unbalanced, you know. And uh, that's why I said next, you know. So, and I did have father-in-law out there. So, maybe we're married and it just was like, wow, I can't believe I was married to this person. And now I'm like on this spiritual path or something like that. And this person is not like with me. He doesn't want to grow with me. And uh, this is six of wands and two of swords in reverse, but I only need one more card here. So yeah, it was unsuccessful and maybe two of swords, you didn't see it. So here, four of wands, now I'm having the wedding card, okay? So I'm thinking that this is someone that you're going to marry. You know, this is this is like something new for you. Hangman here. So which direction you're going in, what you've been thinking about, you know where you are. It's taken a lot of thought, okay? Hmm. I just wanted to use this, but then I was like, I think I should use the other deck. I've never used it for this particular channel. Nope. Nope. Let me turn that down. Hey, all right. All right. So, guys, this deck that I'm about to pull, I call these my big dogs. And I only use them. I only use them when. I see something like this, four of wands, okay? So this person has entered into your life, wanting to work with you and seeing your perspective and, um, well. Okay, so, right, I was listening to this song. So, <laughs> okay, so. Four of Wands. Only use this deck for like that. Marriages and things like that. So this person came into your life and you're telling them bits and pieces about the things that you understand. They want to work with you. They want to love you. They see something in you. They want to get married like type thing to you or have this great celebration or energy with you. Okay. So this is the only time I use this deck. I was going to use the Journey Tarot. Like, okay, you're on a journey. Life is a journey, like I said, the game of life, you know, so on and so forth. But, um, my nose is itching. Don't be afraid. Uh, shine your light on the world for the world to see. shine your light on the world. Exactly. All right, that's most death on me, sis. All right, so here we go. All right, that's enough there. Now let's see what we get for the bottom, okay? Give me one second. This is the last deck, guys. 
I appreciate you all for being here with me so very much and your time and your energy. Thank you guys. I really do appreciate you. And um, come back anytime and rock with me. I'm always here for Pentacles. Maybe this now is something that you want to hold on to. But before you didn't. Okay. So yeah, come back and rock with me anytime. I'm always here. I don't know if you can see me doing daily reads for you guys. And uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Please and thank you. And of course, only if you like. Okay, so we have here the hangman in reverse. Been enlightened, okay? So here at the bottom of the deck over here on this side, we have the hangman, remember? Okay, so like I said, yeah, you're just thinking and, you know, like about your moves and all these things and you've completely been enlightened. All of everything is released, okay? All of the... the old dark energies of everything it's over okay no more thinking about anything it's a wrap okay so here seven of cups you're thinking about your options in the world all the different things that you love in this world oh is there in one in particular person for one of those cups i'm quite sure because now you have the ten of cups okay that's pure love you start off with the two over here the emperor and now the ten of cups so yeah so here the first one is three of pentacles so yeah you're going to definitely work with this person and three of cups you're definitely going to be happy with this person okay love and happiness hey all right happiness this person is going to bring you happiness <laughs> brand new beginning you will start with this individual and then what i'm going to just say it because it came out three of wands you held your vision you see the little butterfly and that was that card we had here that came out on the first three three of wands okay three of wands you held the vision for what you believe to be is true okay all your energy all your learnings all your whatever it is okay and you spoke it you gave it to the world you held tight now what's at this bottom five of cups all of the depression that you had you didn't let that get to you you kept moving okay you said next i'm gonna keep doing me i understand who i am i can't let anyone come in and shake me up and you didn't and love still found you so appreciate you guys come back anytime i'll be here tomorrow and uh bye guys good night take care bye bye